be right at them. Uh, right here, right. Huh? G? D? That's it? Man, you freaky. <laughs> you ain't got to say nothing else but D. I like that. You married? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me guess. You married to him, too. 30 years? Yeah, well, he got 40, you know what I'm saying? Uh, huh? Oh, 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 we got one. There it is. 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 She couldn't resist. She grabbed the titty and everything. She grabbed the titty and everything. She grabbed the titty and everything. That's all right. Oh, man, I, I like your spot. Oh, man. Man, I'm going to tear them panties up. Oh, man, that's going to be all Yes, sir. Oh, man, y'all, y'all in good spirits. I like that. I like that. You just having a good old time, ain't you? Just, there you go. That's what that's what that's what Kevin Kevin do. That's what Kevin Kevin do. Y'all ready? Y'all y'all ready for some more? Let me. I like you. I like you. I like you. This is Harlem and Spanish all over there. Like, but we know who y'all. Y'all the delegates. We know who y'all. are. That's that's the landlord. That's landlord team right there. That's landlord. That's landlord. That's landlord. You're the landlord. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, here we go. <laughs> Once again, I'm Kevin Kevin, your host. I'm Kevin Kevin, your host. I am Kevin Kevin. Oh. Right there. That sounds like Family Feud right there. Oh, yeah. ah. They watch Family Feud and they be clapping good ass, good ass. That'd be the wrong ass answer. What the hell are you clapping for? It was terrible. All right. Anyway, here we go. The first gentleman coming up on the stage here is a good friend of mine. He's been on colleges. He's been on, I can't remember the name of that damn movie he was in. When y'all see. Yeah, your mama too. Uh, <laughs> called the other guys, and really, he's a brother of mine. He's a Twilight Zone freak like myself. We always call each other with a Twilight Zone marathon call. Anybody else here watch Twilight Zone? Twilight Zone? There you go, right there. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for this brother. Very wonderful, very talented, Mr. Adam Phillips. Come on, give it up for Adam Phillips. Harlem, Harlem, New York City, y'all came out tonight to laugh, enjoy yourselves, have a good time, put them hands together and make some noise! Yes! All right! Good to see y'all. Steve, thank you for the correction on my one credit. I appreciate that. How you feeling out there? Y'all looking good. Woo! Black folks in the house. Latinos in la casa. Donde están los latinos en la casa? All right. White folks, make some noise. Oh, thank you. Isn't that nice? Got a little 20 year later Dawson's Creek reunion right here. This is that good shit right there. They took it back to the 80s and they kidnapped Benson. How you doing there, brother? How you doing there, Benson? Get the door for me later, please. Get the door for me. Good to see everybody looking so good out there, man. Happy New Year! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on 111th and 1st Avenue. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! How you doing? Everybody's thinking it's okay. Do you know how it's running? I got issues. Matter of fact, my issues have issues, so y'all gonna have to work with me. I just turned 51 years old, and I just found out that I'm half Puerto Rican. That's right, I'm black by my mother, Puerto Rican by a friend of my father's. And Carter Limon has something to do with that shit, I'm sure. And to make matters worse, man, my wife is black and Jewish. Her name is Shamika Schwartz. As soon as I met her, she's like, if I can't buy it wholesale, fuck it, I'm stealing it. I went to her house for dinner, we had black eyed peas, fried chicken, collard greens, and gefilte fish. This is weird, man, but y'all are a good looking crowd. Everybody's feeling nice? I see every ethnicity out there. I see every age range out there. This is nice. I see some of my people, the AARP crowd. How y'all doing? Did y'all know we get 20% off at Red Lobster? You better get there and show that damn car. Oh, for my AARP crowd, it's 940 for those of us taking medication. See me after the show for a discount on some Lipitor. I got that good shit. I got Lucy's of Lipitor, is what I'm saying. I got that good shit. I got to supplement my income somewhere. Somewhere. But y'all are looking great. I'm feeling great. I like this crowd. I don't even mind the fact 
that after three minutes, I gotta make you all laugh one table at a time. I don't even mind that. This is you guys. <laughs> What's next, Sinbad? I wonder where your ass was. I haven't seen you since Star Search. Where the hell you been, Sinbad? And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. You damn right I'm wearing leather pants. You damn right I'm wearing leather pants. I am a walking midlife crisis. You damn right. Don't be mad because y'all didn't catch the sale at Raymore and Flanagan. This is that good shit here. Came with an end table and two lamps. You can't tell me nothing. I had to kill seven cows just for my big ass to wear leather pants. But y'all are looking good. I'm feeling good, man. I'm from around here, 143rd Street, Broadway. That is the Dominican Disney Age. Any Dominicans out there? Anybody pregnant by a Dominican? Give it time, because he is on the job. You better believe that shit. He will be sneaking some blue gall into your soul later on. He got that El Presidente, he's going to represent that. You better believe that shit. Oh, I love Dominicans. Love them. I just don't like living underneath them. Let me tell you something. I have a job, I'm trying my best to make crew chief at McDonald's. I've been working at this shit for nine years. And I don't mind a party. Friday night, Saturday night, little Otto Solido, little Mark Anthony, that's fine. But 2.30 in the morning on a freaking Tuesday night, I'm trying my best to sleep and all I can hear on top of me every night is Nueve Siete Punto Nueve, La Mega! Todos grandes éxitos de reggaeton y bachata! Y María se fue, y María se fue, y María suavemente besame. Dame su pollito. Who the hell is looking for chicken at 2.30 in the damn morning? What the hell's going on here? I gotta give it up, man, for my man who booked me knowing my ass was dead broke after Christmas. Give it up for Tony Marrero, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. Thank you. I got four kids, I got three grandkids, I got a wife, an ex-wife, and a baby mama. I needed this $12. Thank you so much. He said, $12, and I'm going to feed you. I'm like, shit, I, I damn near slept over last night just to make sure I didn't lose my spot. I'm trying to empanadas back there and pasteles and good food. I like that. And y'all are great. I got to give it up to someone else, my black folk. Now in Harlem, it's a little hard to tell the blacks from the Latinos, from the Dominicans, but my black Americans who are in the audience tonight, I gotta give it up to y'all because you heard the time the show started and you were here on time. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about in 2015, black punctuality. Because come on now, I got to tell the truth and shame the devil. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, black and Spanish people come into work late. But that's not where the audacity comes in. Not only do black and Spanish people come into work late, we come into work late with breakfast. We don't give a shit, man, please. <laughs> Ain't no sense me being late and hungry. It don't make no damn sense. <laughs> Two hash browns for a dollar, you bet your ass I'm gonna stop. <laughs> they don't be playing, man. I am happily married. It is not an oxymoron. Any married folks out there? Thank you, the five of you. As for the rest of you, welcome to the third annual Latino Waiting to Exhale convention. <laughs> married life is like the military. You can out of it exactly what you put into it. Only problem I have with marriage is three little letters. P-M-S. For those of you who don't know, it means punish my spouse. I don't know what it is, ladies, but right before your friend comes, your aunt from Red Bank, you guys are cranky and irritable. The rest of the month, you're beautiful, but them five days right before she comes, y'all don't know whether you want salt or sugar. You sitting there eating Haggadahs and Ritz crackers, looking at the Lifetime channel in high definition. You're like, what the hell did they do to this Aaliyah movie? This shit is horrible. So I hope that my women that are PMSing tonight put all of your hormones to the side and let us commence and have us a good time. Y'all feeling good? Good, because these lights are shining on my ass. I'm sweating like a hungry Muslim holding a pork chop. It is hot up here. I am sweating like a lesbian eating a hot dog. It is hot on this damn stage. I know maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm wearing nine cows, but we're going to get through that. 
We got a lot of good looking people. Y'all, you got such personality at this table here. Yeah, this shit is cool. And right behind you, we got the reunion, the Latin quarters in the house is just chilling out right there. Y'all went back in time to 1987 and kidnapped Tito Puente. What's up, bro? And Oh uh, man, where's the thing about this play Ron Can Can for me? That was my shit. I love Spanish people, but I'm not gonna lie, my heart lies with the Spanish women. Y'all are sexy. Man, cause y'all see me, right? I'm younger. Back in the day, maybe two years ago, they see me, I'm six foot five, 300 pounds, size 15 feet. They take me home and they real, real curious, the Spanish ladies. They'd be like, come on, papi, dame ese pinga tan grande que tú tienes. Quito that ropa, dame que tú lo tienes. I take off my clothes and they're like, ¿qué pasó, muchacho? ¿Qué tú vas a hacer con ese salchicha, hombre? Diablo, me, tú no tienes nada. Sale, 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 sale. Black women, y'all ain't much better. They'd be like, come on, man, dingo, lay that shit on me. Let me see what you got. I take off my clothes, they're like, say what? Look like you brought a knife to a gunfight. What type of shit is this? Oh, I'm not missing scandal over this little shit right here. Forget about it. They really don't play. Welcome to New York City. Only city of the world you go out at nighttime to get the evening paper, and by the next morning you're in it. Man, Mug's on his way to get the post to film on 11. They're proud of that shit. This is New York, man. Women get bored, and you guys get together in little cliques, and you go to the village, and you go to this place called the Pink Pussycat. Pink Pussycat is Toys R Us for perverts. <laughs> Any form of sexual deviance you want, they got it in the Pink Pussycat. They got this stuff for men called Senor Grande. Suppose you take this stuff, rub it on your finger, and your finger will get much bigger. Yeah, right, wouldn't your hand get bigger too? <laughs> Never mind how I know, but I took that shit back for a refund. Give me my eight dollars back. My wife is like, maybe you made a mistake and rubbed it on your stomach. That's not that fucking funny, y'all. This is real ethnic right here. It's like, you guys are the sharks and everybody else is the jets. What type of shit is this? Boy, boy, crazy boy. I feel like I'm in the middle of a damn Disney movie up with all these freaking balloons. This is shit here, boy. But y'all are looking good. I'm feeling great. I am glad to be on the other side of 2015. I'm glad that we all had a nice, hopefully safe and healthy New Year. I like this crowd. I'm just a little disappointed because the women look good. But ain't none of y'all big. And I like my women big. 290 pounds or better. And none of y'all qualify. But I saw one today, Fordham Road in the Bronx. 295 pounds wearing apple bottom jeans. Ass look more like apple sauce. She didn't give a shit. Got to be jelly because jam don't shake like that. But I'm like, damn girl, you look good. Nice tits. She said, thanks, you too. I'm old school to my heart, man. You better believe it. See, the things that upset white folks, they really don't bother black and Spanish people too much. For example, when the show MASH was canceled, white folks were really upset. Right, when Seinfeld stopped running and now it's just in syndication, they was upset for the last episode of Seinfeld. Now I like Seinfeld, I like MASH, but I was not crying when MASH went off the air. Now when Alexander's went out of business, I was on Prozac for six months behind that shit. This is old school black and Spanish crowd. Stop acting like you don't remember Alexander's. Fordham Road, Kings Plaza. Main Street Plushing, 59th Street. I have yet to get rid of my Alexander's credit card. I'm hoping that shit comes back. And if y'all remember Alexander's, I know damn well you remember Woolworths. Oh, that was my spot. Woolworths, where else could you go and school shop for 12 kids for $80? You could go to Woolworths, eat, steal shit. Nobody would even notice. You just walk out with a damn fish tank. They wouldn't even notice. Man, if they ever close Conway, I'm moving to Cuba. I'm telling you right now. Conway is my only saving grace. That is the truth, man. So fellas, I don't know what you did to get these lovely ladies I see out there. But men, whatever you did to get these women, these chicas, 
these beautiful women, whatever you did to get them, that's the same thing you gotta do to keep